Okay, one more time. You're out and someone walks up to you and they ask you who you are and what are you doing here? What do you say? I say, I don't know where I am and I'm suffering from amnesia. No, wrong. You say nothing, okay? You pretend as you just become conscious and you're seeing a human person for the first time in your life. Sorry. All right, it's, it's, it's fine. We just need to get this, it just, needs to, it just needs to be perfect, okay? All right, so let's talk about food. You're gonna have enough MREs to last you about a month. You eat one in the morning, one at night. That'll be a daily vitamin, so make sure you take it. Who's gonna be bringing me the food and water? Yes, just don't worry about it. This guy takes care of every single detail to make sure everything runs smoothly, all right? We just can't have any single room for air. You understand? Yeah, I just... What? I just don't understand why it has to be me who goes. Hey, we talked about this a hundred times already. Look, you have no family and you don't work. If I go missing, a lot of red flags will pop up. And what about the cops? What are you gonna to say to them? What are you gonna say when you face them? Yeah, I know. Yes. Look, Liz, if you have any ounce of fear or anything like that, you can tell me. I can make the call and we can cancel this. No, no, I'm, I'm down. 100% for this. Okay. All right. Seven years. Seven years. And we can say goodbye to this broke ass lifestyle. Seven years and we get the home of our dreams. Live the life we deserve, the life we work so hard for. And you're sure we can trust this guy? This is what he does for a living, all right? He's helped the most wanted people live a new life. And all he asks for is 10% at the end. 10%? Yeah. For two yeah, million? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't know, but and that's what it has to be. It has to be done. When will we see each other? Um. Once a year. Once a year? Yes. People are going to be following me like hawks, baby. <laughs> but what if there's an emergency? There will be no cell phones, but there will be a landline. You can use it for emergency purposes only. Like your dire need of an emergency. Okay. <laughs> what's, so, what's so funny? Nothing. This is just crazy. Can I bring books? Can bring some, but you can't take your whole library with you. All right. Like I'll be there and he's gonna bring supplies, food, water, whatever you need. You can give him a list. How far away from you will I be? I'll be about six or seven hours. Right. It's gonna be a far away place, you know, off in the middle of nowhere. Safe and very secluded. Seven years. Seven years. Two million dollars. Two million dollars. And we won't have to work a day in our lives ever again. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's just do it. Are you sure? <laughs> like, a, are you 100% sure? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, shoot. We, we're going to be living a good life. Trust me, sweetie. We will. <laughs> so when is this whole thing supposed to happen? Um, um, I'll, I'll call the guy, we'll set up the details, and get everything set up. You don't have to worry about a single thing, okay? Um, I'll just... Everything is going to be good. 
you're just gonna have to just relax, you know, read a book, meditate, do whatever. Don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. You all right? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm gonna head to the store. Do you want anything? Yeah, no, no I'm okay. Thanks. Positive, 100%. Are you sure no one's going to find him? I'm just making sure. What the fuck do you mean 40%? The deal was 20. Hello? Hello? Everything all right? Yeah, everything's good. Oh, can you use some chamomile tea? Yeah, I can definitely, yeah. Wake up. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. Wake up, wake up. What? All right, we have to leave now. Let's go. Please, where? Come on, Where's... get up, get up. We have to leave now. What? what, what the guy why? says it's happening tonight. Come on, why, get up. Why now? It's, come on, get up, sweetie. We have to go. We have no. 10 minutes. What? Get up. What the fuck are you, you talking about? You don't have a about? choice right now, sweetie. Let's go. No. Come on. No. We Forget can't. I'm not doing this. Baby, oh, Jesus. Listen, listen. This guy, these people, you don't want to fuck around with them, Liz. Come on, sweetie. What are let's you go. What talking about? Now. Ooh. Listen, can't. listen, no. if you don't get up right now, we're both gonna die, okay? Get up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry. Um, um, look, sweetie, here. Uh, everything's gonna be okay. Here, just drink your tea. I just saw him just drink your tea and just relax, okay? All right, well, pack your bags. I'll get everything ready. And it'll be just exactly how the one we talked about. Exactly, okay? Just relax. Close your eyes again. All right, now think of a place you want to go. Now think of a destination you want to head in. Okay. Now open your eyes.
Hello? Hello? You were not to leave this property at any time for any reason. Please? The power will shut off automatically at 8 p.m. I don't want to do this anymore. Someone will drop off more rations at the end of every month. Can you just listen to me? I need to speak to Sean. You only get one emergency phone call for the year. Use it only if you were about to die. Dial star 69 and someone will head over. Hello? Five hundred dollars. They raised the rent up five hundred dollars. For what? AC is never working right. Hot water is always warm. That should be illegal. It's fine, okay? I'll just get a part-time job while I finish up school. I could probably find something from home. No, no, no. I, I, I don't want you to do that. Well, I can't just sit here and do nothing. You know how stressful it is hearing you complain about money all the time? What do you mean complaining? I'm not... I'm out here every day breaking my back for both of us. I didn't mean it like that. I'm just saying I want to help. Oh, Lord, I'll, I'll figure something out. <sighs> you gotta rob a bank just to live these days. Well, if things get too bad, you can always kill me. Collect the insurance money. Don't jump like that. I mean, if only one of us goes missing, no one really has to die. Well, I volunteer to hide in the Bahamas. If one of us goes missing, after seven years, we'll get two million dollars. What the hell are you talking about? I mean, are you seriously se considering this? Seven years. You, you, okay, no, stop, John. No, this is beyond stupid. Making me feel weird. I would work at the gas station before I did that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, I was just kidding anyway. I'll figure something out.
Let me introduce myself. My name is Doug Wallace, but you can call me Wallace. I'm sure you're aware that in um, uh, disappearances like this, where there's large sums of money attached, well, there's a little extra caution taken. I didn't kill my wife. The police already said I'm in the clear. They searched all over and couldn't find anything. Well, I never said you killed your wife, Mr. Hawkins. Just because someone goes missing doesn't mean they're dead. Look, I don't have time for this. You tell me what do you want. <laughs> you know, I've, um, I've gone over the police reports and there's just one thing that just, it tickles me. You know, um, none of our possessions were missing. It's almost like someone just plucked her in the night. Like I said, I was at work and I came home when she was gone. Yeah, that's what you said. Hmm. <laughs> Did you happen to know that she had a male friend? What the hell are you talking about? Uh, Mr. J. Giles. Um, seems they had a, an extensive text history and uh, ooh, a couple of late night chats too. I think it's time for you to leave. <laughs> Is that what happened, Sean? Did she find her another man? Someone who might, you know, provide for her? <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Sean. You don't want to be under investigation for two murders now, do you? I told you everything. Now get the hell out of my house. Well, see, technically, I can come and visit you as long as I want. See, I've been hired by the insurance company to prove that you and your wife are pulling the old missing for insurance scam. And I can guarantee you this, they're not gonna let one red cent go that they don't have to. <laughs> don't worry, Sean. You're not the first idiot who thought they could pull this off. I'll tell you what, if you see Liz, tell her Wallace says hi. The fuck out. Hello? What did that man want? Nothing. He's just... He's just snooping around. Just being nosy. What did you tell him? I told him exactly what you told me to say. That she's missing, and the cops are doing everything they could. In case you forgot, I'm gonna tell you again. If they find out your wife is hiding, you both will be tortured and killed. If they don't give you the money, you both get tortured. Tortured again and again, and then killed. Is that clear? You don't have to worry. You don't have to worry at all. Everything's taken care of. It's been a whole year since I've been dumped at this hellhole. I thought 
Maybe the time would go by quickly once I got used to it. But I was wrong. So wrong. I feel like time just gets slower and slower here. And every day that passes, my mind gets crazier and crazier. I'm dead, but I'm still alive here. To the whole world, Liz Hawkins is dead. I'm just a ghost in the woods. No one cares about me, talks to me. And Sean, I've thought about what I might do or say if I ever saw him again. I hate him. But I still miss him sometimes. And the person who drops off my supplies, I've tried everything I can to catch him and tell him what I need but he always seems to find the exact second I walk away to drop everything off. They left me one shirt, one pair of pants, and a raincoat. But none of that really matters out here anymore. Hey, I think what if it's a a place in the middle of a place in the middle of nowhere? Someone didn't know exactly where it was. You know? Are you seriously still talking about this? You wanna be in the same place we are right now, seven years from now? What's so wrong with right now? I mean, we're talking about having a kid soon. You wanna be a kid into this mess? What mess? What are you talking about, Sean? I mean, what has gotten into you? Look, you remember my buddy John from work? Yeah. His brother got, his brother had brain cancer. He died two weeks ago. The medical bills alone wiped him out clean. Now his wife is working at a hotel just to take care of the kids. Damn. Look, I just don't want us just getting by. I want us to have freedom, take control of our lives, live in new places. Do you have an insurance policy? Yeah, I do. I got it through work. I mean, how much could we get if we did do something like this? Enough money to say fuck the world and live our lives.
you're listening, it's already too late. Maybe they promised you money or a new life like they did to me. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is that you're here now and there's no escape. But I'm sure you know that by now. This audio journal will help guide you. This cabin, this land, it's not normal. It may seem like nothing at first, but as the years go on, something from this place starts to get inside of you. Get some rest. Don't open the door. Do not trust anyone, even your own family. They put you out here for a reason, and it's not for your best interests. We'll talk more soon. exactly sure what is going on here, but from what I've put together, something not from this earth landed here thousands of years ago. I've included a Geiger counter in the safe. Use that to navigate some of the areas with high radiation and stay away from those areas. Also, use that counter to see if they are around you. I'm certain that many of the Native American folk tales about horrific creatures stemmed from these beings. They seemed to come out every seven to eight years to feed. They came out during my time around 1982, so they'll come back in 1990, 98, and so on. They can take any shape or form that they want. They can get into your mind to read your thoughts and alter them. They get inside telepathically, that's how they communicate. But the scariest thing, they don't like to just go out and kill. They like to tease and torture their prey. Lastly, they only come out at night. Hello?
told me I can see her at least once a year. It's been three years. How do I know she's still alive? Man, you could just be telling me that. I don't even know for sure. Just let me see her, just for one hour. When? Catch you at a bad time? Let me call you later. I thought I told you to stay off my property. Well, Sean, I've been assigned to your case, so kind of got to be here, you know? Everything all right? You look a little distressed. Compost? Yeah. All right, you need to leave. Man, I'll tell you what, no hospitality around here at all. <clears throat> Let me guess. You hired some organized crime thugs to help you with your little escape plan. And uh, now their list of demands have changed. Am I right? It's a very common scam, Sean. They look for struggling and, uh, well, pathetic people like yourself, and they prey on them. But what you don't know is that when this is all said and done, and if you get your money, and that's a big, fat, giant if, oh, they're going to kill you. And they're going to kill your wife. And they're going to take all the money. You're full of shit. I told you. She's missing, and the cops are on it. Tonight, why don't you research insurance scam, family killed. See how many results you get. Get the hell off my property. Yeah, I see him right now. Yeah, he's headed to work. Test, test.
The house is already bugged. Yes, I'm sure, even better ears than what we have. Yes, I'm positive. He's definitely working with somebody. And they're keeping a pretty tight leash on him. Look, I put a tracker on his car already. The guy goes to work, to the gym, to the grocery store. It's like clockwork. Yeah, what I don't get, if she's alive, how could she go this long without any communication at all? I know the counter readings are off the charts, but they will only be dangerous if you're here for hours at a time. This next part will be hard. You will be seeing something that won't make sense. Please, just trust me and try to follow what I say. In front of you, hopefully, there will be some kind of small metal box in your tree. Open it. Now there should be some kind of fossilized skull inside of the box. My theory is this belongs to some Native American who was killed by one of the beings, but something unexplainable attached itself to the skull. This skull is like a doorway. Try it. Just touch the skull and you can go anywhere you want. Back in time, into the future, anywhere. Who bugged my house? Do not worry. It 
It's been cleaned. Keep this phone nearby and secure. There's something else for you in the box. And afterwards. You give me the agreed amount of the money and then I give you the location of your wife and then we never see or talk to each other again. How do I know? How do I know that you won't just um, kill me and take the money? Hello? Hello? It does me no good to kill clients. If I wanted one of you dead, I could have done it years ago. Don't. We're not gonna kill any of you, unless you want something arranged. What are you talking about? Your wife. She's been locked up in that cabin for six years. She's getting cabin fever. She'll be fine. Do you think she's just gonna welcome you with open arms? She thought she was going to summer camp. You lied and sent her into solitary confinement. She'll be fine. She, she know it has to happen. Will she, or will she kill you the first chance she gets? Revenge, perhaps, for stealing seven years of her life? What are you trying to say? When you pick her up, you take care of her. Something clean. And then we'll clean up the mess. No, no. I love her. I, I still love her. Sean, you dumped her in the woods for money. You suck seven years of her life like a vampire. She's... I've done everything for her. For years. She can do this one thing for me. So we can live. You live the life that I deserve. Something real. Gary, I agree with you. This is all very weird, but very real. I've seen the future. You can ask me anything, and the tape will answer. How many fingers am I holding up? Three. No. No, no, this is impossible. It should be impossible, but it's not. Something happened to me out here. Can you really hear me? Not currently. I'm probably dead. 
dead by now. But I've seen all of this when I touched the skull, you there. With some practice, I was even able to change small things in the future, but never the past. So the future's all pre-planned? In a way, it's very complicated. Do I escape this place alive? I can't answer that kind of question right now. Why? Death is very tricky. Because the way you see death is not really how it is. How do I get out of here? You can't, Liz. What do you mean I can't? No, there has to be some way, a road or something. You need a vehicle to get out of here. It would take hours to find the nearest road on foot. I've tried countless times. How did you end up here? Same as you. I had a decent job, wife, kids, and a house. This guy got a hold of me, said, I can make all your dreams come true. I just had to wait here for seven years and pretend I was dead. And what happened? You don't need to know this stuff, Liz. I need to know. Please. They kept changing the terms with my wife. They wanted more and more. My wife went to the cops and tried to get us out of it. Did she tell the police? No. These people killed her, my son, and left me the pictures. I couldn't take the guilt. My own selfishness killed them. I used to have everything and then I had nothing. What about you? I ended my life. The body is still out there somewhere. Near the skull in the box. That's their whole plan. Whose plan? The people who operate this place. Do you think it's profitable to only make a few thousand every seven years? No. They're descendants of the land. We were brought here to feed them, the beings. So... We're just food. I'm sorry. Please, you have to help me. How? I'm not even alive anymore. I know, there's a river way east and that's it. How far? I have no idea. But there's also the phone trick you could try. Phone trick? What phone trick? I'm not sure if the phone's the same, but when I was there you could use two prongs that hang up the phone, kind of like Morse code. So one would be one hit and two would be two hits and so on. Oh my God, thank you. There's one more important thing. You asked me if you get out alive. Yes? Well, you... Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Selfishness killed them. I used to have everything and then I had nothing. Hello, can you hear me? I ended my life. The body is still out there somewhere. Near the skull in the box. That's their whole plan.
Hello? Congrats. The time is all done. Seven long years. Yeah. That's all I want. Just tell me how you want your money. Just keep it all. What do you mean? Just keep the money. Keep it all. I need you to do me a favor. What's the favor? Come on, I, I gotta get going. The guy who's been pestering you. Yeah, Wallace? Yes, kill him. What the fuck? Are you crazy? I'm not your assassin for hire. Look, just take the money and let me move on. I can't. You will. You're about to vanish and start a new life. Nothing matters for you anymore. Please. Do it or you both die. I'll text you an address to bury him. Go at night. <sighs> Who was that? I've already sent him a message to come to your location. What the fuck? Well, here we are, Sean. Seven long years. You know, I gotta hand it to you. I thought you'd break or slip, but not you. No. I guess that's why you called me over here, though, huh? So you can rub my face in it. All right. I just, um... Oh. Yeah, um, well, you know, I'm really going to miss you. I mean, you were one of my favorite clients and, um, your wife, God rest her soul. You know, I, I hope she turns up someday. Case is closed, Sean. I don't give a fuck about you or your wife anymore. Do you hear me, Sean? I can't help you get out of Shut this. Shut the fuck up. Whoa, whoa, okay, okay. Where'd you get that, huh? <laughs> Did you get that at a pawn shop? Have you even shot a gun before? Shut the fuck up! Just shut up! You're pathetic, Sean. You ain't even got the balls to shoot me. Hmm. You know, I came over here hoping to get a go fuck yourself bottle of wine or something. But no. No. This, this is so much better. So, uh, you know, why don't you just have a nice... Yes, yes, my name is Liz Hawkins, and I've been kidnapped and held in some cabin in the middle of nowhere. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? 
Fuck. My name is Liz Hawkins. And if you're listening to this right now, I'm hopefully far away from this place or somewhere dead nearby. I want the world to know that my husband, Sean Hawkins, forced me here to this place I don't know where I am. I don't even know what day it is. But what I do know is that I can't stay another second here. I would rather be out there dead, starved and thirsty than to spend any more time here in this place. I'm heading west. Hopefully there is a river or a road or something, anything that lets me know that I'm not here anymore. It's about two hours after sunrise. I'm gonna keep walking until sundown and hopefully by then I am far away from this land and whatever haunts it. Tell you something? Yeah, what's up? This past month, I've just been thinking about my parents a lot. I know it's been a few years, but still, it just doesn't feel real. I know, baby. I'm sorry, but it gets better over time. I lost my father when I was young. It was pretty hard. I know. Do you think we'll see him again? Some woman said something to me that stuck with me. She said she believed that we've been dead for trillions of years. That if we had the right perspective down, that our past, present, and future is all in one place. Meaning, your parents may be dead, but on the other side of the hill, they're there. 
laughing, cooking. It's always there. I kind of like that. Get out. Liz. Get out. Liz. Get out. It's me, Sean. Liz, come on, calm down. Look, I'm, I got you food, real food. Why are you here? It's over. It's been seven years. I got the money. I mean, we got the money. We can leave this place. We're free. Free? You kidnapped me. For money, you piece of shit! You sat there and helped me plan this whole thing out. I knew you were gonna get cold feet, so I just gave you a little push. I never agreed to this, to this prison camp. Do you know what it's like to be here all alone? Eating the same fake food every day? Not knowing what day it is or what year it is? I'm sorry. You're sorry? Do you even know what's going on here? There is something in those woods. In those devils that you made a deal with. They're only here to feed it. You just have cabin fever. Once we leave, you'll be back to your normal self. No, I'm not going anywhere with you. Liz, let's go. Come on. I know why you're really here. Yeah, I've seen this all before. What are you talking about, Liz? You're not here to save me and take me away. You're here to kill me. Don't be foolish. I'm not here to kill you, Liz. Then prove it. Turn around and prove that there's not a gun in your pants. Look, it's for my own protection. They said you wasn't right in the head. This was your plan the whole time. To keep me out here, a prisoner. And then you got the money. You were gonna kill me. You're acting crazy. I'm not here to kill you. What the fuck, Liz? What the fuck, Liz? Fuck, Liz! I had a hell of a plan. An airtight plan. You had to go and mess everything up. I didn't want this for us. I wanted us to go off and be happy. Well, I go. But no. You couldn't sit inside a fucking house for a few years in peace. You always gotta be the cause of drama. The center of fucking attention. I'm not doing this shit no more. I have a chance at a better life. You know what? I think this is best for everyone. What the fuck? my legs. I can't move my legs. Please, help me. Please. Please, Liz. Liz. Just call 911, please. Please. Look, look, you can take the money. You can take it all. Just please, call 911. I can't move. 
I can't move my legs. Liz! Liz! You can't leave me here. Please! Liz! Can you still hear me? Yeah. I got the car keys. I'm alive. I know. I'm the one who took the bullets out of the gun. How? I guess when I killed myself, something in this area never really let me fully die. So, you're a ghost? More of a multi-dimensional person kind of thing. I am truly grateful for you, but it's my time to leave. Where will you go? I don't know. I'm kind of ghost-like, dead to the real world. I do know the first thing I'm going to do is get the biggest pizza I can find in a hotel room. Maybe it's a gift to have a blank slate, to be born again. Yeah, born again. I kinda like that. Before you go, can you do me one last favor? Sure. Take my bones out of this place, bury them somewhere far. Maybe then I'll be free from this place too. Yeah, somewhere nice and far. You know, in a weird and twisted way. I'm gonna kind of miss this place. So am I. Well, this tape is about to come to an end. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too, but don't worry. The universe is pretty weird and complex. I think we might meet each other again someday. All right, it's a next life date. In another lifetime, at a coffee shop maybe. Goodbye, and thank you. 
Goodbye, Liz. Have a great life. Let me off the hook. I want to run wild. Get tangled in the sheets with the love that isn't you. Cause I was on my own when you were by my side. So there's no difference now, except there's nothing to hide. Let me go on without you. Let me go on without you. Let me go on without you. Let me go on. Oh, how the night gives way to the dawn. We were the two on the morning line. Our love was beautiful, but now it's gone. Our love was beautiful. Liz. Someone here. <laughs>